Thank you for watching my video. I'm Dai Takashi. I'm a Kudo master. Today, so I will explain the difference between Kudo and Archery. The difference between Kudo and Archery. Let's look so two slide, two picture. The form between Kudo and Archery. Many people think that it is small difference, looks so small difference, but for Kudo practitioner, this form uh, make a big difference between Kudo and Archery. Okay, let's see one point, especially right hand. The right hand position is different from between Kudo and Archery. When the position of right hand changes, the posture when pulling the ball changes greatly. For this reason, how to aim the target and hit the target, and the concept of practicing Kudo and Archery are different. I'm sure that some of this story will help you in your work. First, the concept of hitting the target, releasing the arrow straight are different. In the archery, the important thing is to set a standard of your hand's position and aiming position. To aim the target accurately, they set the variety of the standard such as the length of pulling the arrow, the position of their hands and the aiming position. To set a standard accurately, they set a variety of two of the ball. For example, clicker. This tool is for pulling the ball constantly. Uh, stabilizer. This tool is, and uh, this tool is for stabilizing uh, the ball, preventing, mo prevent, preventing moving the ball a little bit. And the side. This tool is for aiming the target constantly and accurately. They can cut the unnecessary movement of the ball when aiming the target, pull the ball constantly to length to release the arrow constantly, and change the aiming position in detail because they have the standard of your hand's position and the aiming position. However, actually is still trouble even if they improve the actually ball to set the tool. They will say that it's still difficult to hit the target accurately because the inside of human body moves unconsciously. For example, the heart is beating, the brain is thinking about something. Every little moment and mistake happen. And then Kudo practitioner thinks differently to shoot straight. Uh, Kudo, the important thing to hit the target is stretch body, your body and control your mind. To stretch your muscle can make your mind relaxed. With this form, you can release the arrow accurately. But there's a one problem. Uh, there is a one problem about this. So this is to this is uh, that uh, it's difficult to confirm the body and mind condition during playing the ball. The cute practitioner have a trouble uh, about this. So let's imagine it's difficult to image that. Your, uh, your body and mind is naturally and is good condition. So, Kudo practitioner are trained many times and many practice, many variety of practice to check, other, to get a sense, to get a good condition about, your, about uh, our body and mind. Okay, thank you for watching my video. So, next next video so i will explain the natural condition of uh, of our mind and the body in detail thank you